Kisa is a low-lying area in eastern Uganda where rice growing is at its best. This kind of farming, however, has led to environmental degradation, mainly draining wetlands for cultivation. But with the adoption of fish farming, the environment, mainly wetlands, will be protected as they do little or no harm to wetlands. Farmers get rice and also protect the ecosystem. Lawrence Maduri is a fish farmer who doubles as the chairperson of Kibale Fish Farmers Group dealing in fish enterprise in Kibale sub-county, Palsa district. The group consists of six members who are four women and two men. The group began their farming journey with one pond for catfish which they would feed on maize brand and getting minimal dividends only enough for home consumption. But in 2016-2017 financial year, the group received a grant amounting to 4.5 million shillings from the Ministry of Test Affairs and a micro-support project, and it was among the 11 selected groups that received 30 million shillings. My project support is a program which has been designed by the, the Office of the Prime Minister which is meant to uplift the standard of living of the people who are in the war ravaged areas of Teso region, of which Palisa is a part of it. In 2016-2017, Palisa received uh, for 30 million from the office of the Prime Minister, and we supported 11 projects. The funds were spent on transforming the project from subsistence to commercial farming, and this was as a result of members' tailor-made training. In their first attempt, they were able to harvest fish worth 8.7 million shillings, which they reinvested in the project. In 2019-2020 financial year, the group received more 5 million shillings from the Ministry of Test Affairs, which they used to purchase tilapia fingerlings, and it was among the selected foot groups that received over 175 million shillings. In the second season, Kibale Fish Farmers Group harvested fish worth 38 million shillings. The funds were used to purchase land for the expansion of the project. That five million, we use it some to, to get some fingerlings, tilapia fingerlings, because in our site here we, we don't have the, the place we, we try to multiply the, what, the, the tilapia fingerlings. We have only catfish because we get it some that house for hatching catfish. The members wanted to just to divide that money, each one wanted to take his own money. But we as, a group, we as the, the leaders of the group, we refused that idea. Then we say, let's do this project. But after getting 35 million, it, 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 each one has his own, his own idea. But we decided to tell these people, let's buy a piece of land, then we put it, this project. Because we can divide three people, to manage the other one, then three people to manage this the first project. We benefit a lot in this project, starting from 2017 up to now. Now we can even get some money for helping our children for the education, for, for the school fees, to pay school fees, and uh, even uh, some problems, family problems. I want to thank a team from the Office of Prime Minister to support us in this project of fish farming. We thank the most leader, even the president, to bring this idea. And this project has helped us to gain more. If you tell me now, you give me 100,000, I will, I will deliver that 100,000 to you immediately. The first, the first harvest we got it, we got it for 8.7 million. Then you put, we put it again, that money back. Then we, the, the harvest which follows, we get it at 8 million. Then we want to see that 
everyone has his what is own project the one which is the every every person has his project which can be a manager from that project or a director right now the the the, the secretary of the of the the secretary of the of the group is now doing a business because I we decided to give him five million through this project. Then I told him, let me buy the cows, these three people to manage, and the other three people they are now managing that project of five million. Uh, when the office of the prime minister visited this group, they saw how determined they were, and they again said that no, it is better to add these people the money and they added them again another five million shillings and this money they have used it to expand their project by by stocking many ponds buying the 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 the, the fingerlings and then also for the feeds i'm uh, giving the farmers to live to grow rice that's the first thing because right now you see my posture here i was been good getting just on all three bags, three, three, three bags for the year which is good for rice. bags, rice. But now, just on all pawn, one pawn, I will buy more than five bags. Just on all one pawn of, of eight by 12 meters, of eight by 12 meters. That's I'm devising farmers to live mostly those places, those wet areas. Let's those farmers start to practice on fish farming. In June this year, the group is expecting to harvest fish worth 66 million shillings, which they say is a great achievement in their lives as they plan to export their fish to Kenya for a better price. Like uh, the other season which I have is the first season, I stocked the, my stock, the first stock we stocked just on all three thousand, we harvested 80 million. Then the second stock, we stocked around 18,000, we harvested 38 million. Now the stock we have now is around 28,000 28, catfish and tilapia. That's, I think, we are now thinking of 60 million by the time we harvest. Kibale fish farmers' success is as a result of their determination, focus and unity for a purpose. Palisa District Labor Officer Jojo Nyait believes that in the five years, Palisa will be a role model district in fish farming and profitable ecosystem management. If the farmers can adapt what the extension staff is telling them, and if farmers can adapt this project of fish farming and other projects, and they follow the advice and the guidance of the technical people within the district and even outside. I see Palisa district in the next five years being a district where there are people who can be prosperous. I can see the people who will be innovative where others can learn from and the livelihoods of the people of Palisa will change in the next five years. And this will depend on the, the skills and the knowledge that is imparted to them by the technical staff. As a fish farmer before excavating a fish pond, mastering the movements of water and the sample of soil is vital to avoid water loss and ecosystem damage. The, the, you should make that pond, you measure. If it's 8 meters by, by 10, you make it 8 by 10. So you must fertilize the pond. You can't put the pond when, you are not, when it's not fertilized. You must see that pond should be fertilized. That fertilizer help, help the fish to grow well. Help the fish grow well, then there is some nutrients in the water, in the cow dung. All those nutrients, you know fish, fish needs nutrients. Those fish needs high nutrients. Now you put cow dung to help to raise those nutrients up. Mm -hmm. The next stage you stock, you, you allow that thing to settle well. After 14 days, then you stock. Then you transfer them to the main pond direct. 
you can't benefit. Because some of them cannot feed well, but when you put in a nursery bed, just a nursery pond, just a small one, when you are feeding, they all get feeds. Then they grow faster. And even fish needs to grow to, to grade. The feeds you follow as, according to the size of what the fish. In a year, we harvest two times. A year. Because we keep this to reach around 400 grams to 500, then we sell it. Because we are not following the mass, the 36 mass. We follow according to the growers of the water, the fish. Because there are some fish which grow faster. After three to four months, you can fit, it's a fish. When you sample, you can get around four, four to 500 grams. You must see the way the, the water, the movement of water. You first understand the movement of what, eh? water, because water itself is a problem. You can find like like now here, the other side, they have, the, the 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 other farmers is rice growers. When those people start growing rice, and by the time of planting rice, there is a lot of problems. You can find that water is is not is not clean, is dirty. That is the problem. When it's entered in the archery, there you can make a very big loss. But sometimes even they, when they enter in the a pond, even there you cause a lot of loss. There's a big loss. The fish takes a period of six months to mature and ready for the market. However, climate change and predators are among the challenges affecting the fish farming sector. We have the predators like uh, the those water cockroaches, even those ones are a problem. But those water cockroaches you follow water, they come from out from what? Then they down to the river. Then they come directly following the water, the lines, those outlet lines. But when you are putting, make sure when you are after cleaning, you put you lock the other thing properly, the outlet. Then you put the, the net which is good for, which not allow those things to come into the water the pond. Then secondly, there's a problem of frogs. Frogs and toads. Even those ones can bring water, other problems. Then they can even eat the water, the fingerlings. President Yori Kagutam Seven has emphasized the four-acre modem wherever he gives highlights on agriculture transformation from subsistence to commercial farming. He has advised against farming to fill the stomach only, but also for income generation. Kibale Fish Farmer Group in Palsa is therefore an example of good farming practices with some calculation or echivalo, as the president wisely advises. The practice of a four-acre model has changed Maduli's life, not like in the past when he was not a target farmer. Like the first time me to design this land, I had some information from the president when he's in Kamuria, explaining that somebody with the four acres can make money, can even take their children to school, and not looking only for Lubuto, he's looking for everything, food, money, and putting some more investment. That's why I started this project by planting trees, mango, oranges, fruits, fruits. That's why you see all these, these acres there are four. But I've put, I've put them to, according to what the president is explaining. In the radio, every two as they go, they explain. That's why you see, I designed this thing like this, because I'm following the ideas of the president. Mm. Then the first thing, up, I plan for my small fashion fruits and horticulture. Then in the middle, there is a cassava there. Then the, 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 this one, the followed one, the sadi, the sadi acre, there is a, some oranges and some small oranges, some mangoes and some small oranges. Then down is fish. By the time I feed the fish, I get some money from the horticulture. By the time uh, horticulture is off, I got some money from the oranges and mangoes. By the time that one off, I got money from the fish and some bananas. 
And right now I'm practicing even to put some cows. By the time those things I will be getting some milk, I sell like that. That's why you see I bought those precious. Um, the president has been singing in the media and even whenever the president goes for his tours, he talks about the four acre model, whereby within that four acre model, if there are serious farmers, they can be earning more than 20 million or 20 million uh, within a year. We have seen through this farmer called Ogwangi Maduli Lawrence in Kibale in Odeperi village. We have seen this man surpassing even the target which the president has set of 20 million. Now the man is the man is earning over 30 million as we are speaking. So the president's model of four acres, it works. But only that there are people who think that that is a lie. And those ones who are still doubting that the, the, the five-acre model of the president is not working, let them come to Palisa district and then we shall take him or her to some farmers who are using four acres of land and they are now achieving the president's dream of getting over 20 million in a year. Like where we are staying right now in this farmer's home, he has the banana plantations, he has the chicken, he has um, the, the greens which he grows in, in his farm. He grafts the mangoes, he grafts the oranges, he has the guavas, he has the, 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 the beehives, he keeps the, the, the beehives, now he has even the, the honey. He has his two animals, the Frisian animals, where soon he will be getting money from the milk. So this model is working, except that um, people in Uganda and even in this region, sometimes they don't take things serious. They think that what the president is talking may not work in, in this region, Maybe it works in the Buganda region or in the, in the Western. This model can work in any part of this country. And if farmers can follow the advice of the president, I think we shall be able to reduce the poverty levels in Uganda to around 15%. So this group is a success, and I recommend it to any person who can give a supporting hand, or even those who can come and learn from here, or even those ones who can take some members of this group to go outside, to go maybe to other places, maybe in Kampala, maybe in Wakiso, such that these people will add on the knowledge that they have, so that they can improve this project. The group has laid a master plan that has transformed their site into a role model across the region and beyond. The issue is being focused and strategic.